The third type of chemical bond commonly found in the body's molecules is the hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond forms when a molecule's hydrogen atoms are attracted to more electronegative atoms, such as oxygen or nitrogen, found on another nearby molecule. Hydrogen bonds are usually symbolized by dotted lines. Remember that in a polar covalent molecule such as water, there is a partial positive charge found on the hydrogen end of the molecule and a partial negative charge on the oxygen end. The partial positive charge on the hydrogen end is the attractive force in the creation of the hydrogen bond. The hydrogen atoms will be attracted to the negatively charged atoms of other nearby molecules. Remember that opposite charges attract. Because water is a polar molecule, water molecules are chemically attracted to each other. One water molecule is able to form hydrogen bonds with three or four other nearby water molecules. In hydrogen bonds, there is no gain or loss of electrons as there is in ionic bonds, nor is there any sharing of electrons as in covalent bonds. Compared to these other chemical bonds, individual hydrogen bonds are weak interactions. However, there is strength in numbers. One hydrogen bond by itself is weak, but many hydrogen bonds are strong. It seems strange, but water molecules are actually sticky to each other. The hydrogen bonds that link water molecules together give water the property of cohesion, which is the ability of water molecules to stay together and form liquid water. Water's cohesion also creates a very high surface tension which is water's excellent ability to stick together at a liquid surface, the boundary where water meets the air. You've seen water surface tension in action if you ever observed an insect walking across the surface of a pond or counted the number of water drops you can place on a penny. Because they are polar, water molecules are much more attracted to each other than they are to air molecules, so they stick together closely at surfaces. In the body, surface tension plays a role during respiration. The lungs' microscopic air sacs are coated with a fluid secretion that aids in gas exchange. In order to breathe normally, each of our inhalations must be strong enough to overcome the opposing effects of the surface tension that this fluid generates. Hydrogen bonds also have other important functions in the body. Acting together, thousands of hydrogen bonds can help assemble smaller molecules into larger molecules during synthesis reactions. They also help hold different parts of a molecule together, providing strength and stability. Lastly, they maintain the complex three-dimensional shape and structure of large molecules, such as proteins and DNA, which is critically important to their functions. 